Good day, Sophia Art and Film Awards. My name is Maruga Booker and I'm the director of Sitting Bull Standing Tall. From the bottom of my heart and from my soul, I want to thank you for this award to the movie Sitting Bull Standing Tall. But I also have to thank my media stream dream team for without them, I could never have finished this movie to the way it is. But we all acknowledge that Sitting Bull is the real, real place where the credit goes, for it is his life and spiritual sayings that have inspired us to make this movie. God bless you and thank you. So now you might be wondering what made me make the movie inspire me to do Sitting Bull, Standing Tall. In 1991, I went to Fort Belknap, Montana to a one-week powwow and to talk to them about manufacturing the Nada drum that I invented. In that week, I met John Contway, the relative of Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. He played bass in the band with the mayor of Harlem, Montana, Vic Miller, who was also a drummer. They proceeded to teach me and tell me about the wisdom of Sitting Bull. So in that week, the council asked if they could meet with me in the TP that they provided for me, and they proceeded to tell us about the strip mining for gold on top of Spirit Mountain, which was their sacred burial grounds, and that the strip mining caused cyanide to go underground all the way from Montana to Texas, making anyone who drank it sick. So later on, I looked up the sayings of Chief Sitting Bull, and I thought that the wisdom that he was saying pertained to the problem of Spirit Mountain, as well as to the problem of this whole world. And so, these two things inspired me to do the music in the movie and to produce Sitting Bull, Standing Tall, using my music and art to do it. When I got back to California, I received a large bass drum in the mail from Mayor Vic Miller. The bass drum comes from 1949, used by the blues and jazz drummers, and then later used by powwow drummers, and somehow ended up in a store for sale. It is this drum that he got and sent me that I used as the heartbeat throughout the whole recording of the record for the movie Sitting Bull Standing Tall. The trance takes you into a place where you are at the ground of your being, where the source of all creativity comes from, and our spirit is. It is this drum that I used, and I'm thankful to Mayor Vic Miller, memory eternal, and I'm thankful for John Conway, memory eternal, and to Fort Belknap for influencing me on the path to making this movie Sitting Bull Standing Tall. Well, the making of this movie is a culmination of a lifelong experience. First of all, I'm 80 years old and I'm not a filmmaker. I never made a film. I dabbled maybe in making a few videos and things, but I'm not a filmmaker. I go all the way back to being three years old in the kitchen, dancing the Serbian kolo while my father's playing the accordion with my mother. And the rhinestones seemed so far out and psychedelic and bright. And I looked at the accordion playing this beautiful music and I knew I had to play music all my life. And in that very week, my mother put a pencil in my hand and I started drawing. Well, throughout the years, my father 
got a wire tape recorder and was recording himself playing the accordion. And I started recording way back in the 50s. And then all of a sudden the tape recorders and then cassettes and I got into recording. And meanwhile, I was doing art as a sideline and music as a headline. So I didn't want anybody to see my art or tell me what to do. And my music, I said, well, I'll play music and I'll earn my living as a musician. And that's what I did all my life. Then all of a sudden, the art started surfacing to the top. And I started doing artwork uh, in different ways. I was in California and I met a friend, uh, Chris Roberts, who introduced me to the computer and doing computer art. Now, since I played Woodstock in 1969, with Tim Harden, I had this Woodstock influence and I thought I would start doing some phone art about me playing at Woodstock. So that computer art knowledge transferred onto this little phone and I started doing the computer art on the phone for the Woodstock things, which we're gonna be putting out um, and selling online on canvas and on posters. So this started me doing this visual art which then later got transferred to the iPad when I got the iPad. The iPad is literally the holy grail of multimedia because it's a recording studio, it's a video studio, an editing studio, an art studio, and a camera. It's all in one. So I got this iPad, sat on the porch for the whole summer, and started doing this film, putting it to the music that I had already recorded in my studio, Sage Court. And I had the music already done with the sayings that he said. And I said, I'm just going to portray these sayings. I'm not gonna put in anything of my own, except artistically in color and things. So I tried to portray the sayings and I went and found art uh, and photographs that were done at the time of the sayings that he's talking about. And I put the sayings together in a chronological way. So it went from the beginning of his life to the end of his life. And I put the photographs of each time of his life into this and I implemented my art and my uh, ability to do a little bit of animation and put color to it to present to you the sayings, the spiritual sayings of Chief Sitting Bull. It's as though he is talking to you. He is telling you what he really feels because this is just his words and I just depicted it with the photographs and the color to make this movie Sitting Bull Standing Tall and I thank you for this award. It, it was a real experience learning how to make it, learning how to do it, putting a team together with my son and Jerry, uh, who helped finance us to put it together even better. Putting together this dream team has been a real experience of working together with Jerry Glassman and Phil Glassman and my son and his wife, uh, Aaron and Kristen Bookvich, and my wife, Shakti. We became a dream team, putting this whole thing together, working together as a team to put out the message that's pertinent to today. Because today, we have the same problems as yesterday, and his words are still standing tall.